Hi everyone, Liam here from presentationexpressions.com. So today, what am I going to talk about? Well, I'm going to talk about something really, really important for your presentations. And I'm going to do this in a two-part series for you. So I'm going to talk about rapport in your presentations. Now, as I've already said, this is a two-part video series. So today is part one. So, what is rapport and why is it important? Well, what is it? Well, rapport is simply the connection you have with your audience and the connection they have with you. Alright, so we already know in presentations the communication and the connection between you and your audience is so important. Otherwise, what are you presenting for? You're not going to achieve anything at all. Well, that's kind of why it's important, of course, but also um, if you have a good rapport with your audience, let's say you're there to sell a product, you'll probably sell more product. If you're there to give information um, that they didn't know before, you're going to walk away from that presentation and they will know about what you've told them. Um, if you're going there to train them through a presentation, they'll walk away confident in what they need to do next. So you're going to simply achieve your goal if you do this correctly. So that's why it's important. So I'm going to go through some things today. The first thing I'm going to talk about is your voice. Now your voice is important. Um, your voice is your most basic tool, but probably the most important one as well. Um, without your voice, you're not going to be heard. So basically what I mean by that is, don't talk to your audience like this with no, no feeling in your voice, you're not going to get your message across. Okay, you sound like a robot, okay? So make sure the tone of your voice is there. Okay, make sure you've got some feeling in your voice. Make sure you stress the most important area of your presentation as an example. Kind of sticking with voice, um, I call this area musical notes. So what do I mean by that? I mean the sing-song of your voice, all right? So showing that stress again, you know, um, showing the importance of something. When you ask a question rhetorically, probably in your presentation as an example, you know, how do you believe our revenue has performed over the last year? Now, I'm going to do that again, but I'm going to change it a little bit. So, where do you suppose our revenue has gone for the last year? Now, the second time I said that, I went down at the end, go up at the end of a question, all right? Otherwise, it just sounds strange, you know? Um, maybe uh, you're talking about your best seller for your company. So you might say something like, uh, I don't know, let's say your company makes refrigerators, all right? And you, you might say something like, well, our best seller this year was the Z46 refrigerator, the black one. Okay, so I got quite excited by that. But if you said um, our biggest selling refrigerator this year was the Z76 black one, it doesn't sound exciting. So your audience won't get excited. So musical notes within your voice, really important. Facial expression, okay? Um, eyes, mouth, um, and so on. Now, I've talked about this before in a previous uh, set of videos called Body Language, so they're worth checking out if you've not seen them yet. Facial expression is important because you deliver a message with your eyes, you deliver a message with your mouth, even before you speak. You can see here in this particular slide, this child is happy. We know that immediately. You know, we can, we, if I covered the mouth um, up, as an example, I mean, you can't see me doing it, but if I covered the mouth up, um, you can tell the child is happy just by the eyes alone, all right? So, liven your eyes up, you know, don't do your presentation like this, you know, you look half asleep and it's, oh my goodness, look at the sound of my voice is boring too, you know? Don't send your audience to sleep. Facial expression, use your eyes, use your mouth. And the next one is gestures, okay? Um, gestures are really important. You can, I mean, if you've watched enough videos with me, you know I love my hands. I'm always using them. You know, I'm pulling the audience in. I'm stressing a point. You know, I'm really going at it. All right. 
Hands are great tools for you, all right? Use them. But don't go over the top, don't do things like this. You know, you're gonna drive your audience crazy like this. Whoa, whoa. You know, don't do that, okay? Um, don't go too overboard. If you don't use your hands, try to practice. You know, do it in front of a mirror, you know. Hands are there to show feeling too. So use them to your advantage. Speed. So what do I mean by speed? Do I mean get on a horse and go racing like in the picture? No, of course I don't. I'm talking about the speed of your voice. Um, very, very important. So if I'm going to talk to you about the presentation and the speed of your voice and make sure that you do this and make sure that you do that. And, oh, by the way, don't sit over there, sit over here. It's like, what did he just say? Don't speak too fast in your presentation. But the opposite, oh, I'm going to talk to you about a presentation skill today. And uh, yes, don't forget to do it this way and not that. Don't speak too slowly either. Most of us have a natural speaking speed. That's really quite acceptable. Um, if you feel that you speak too slowly, try to speed up just a touch. If you know you speak too fast, and some of us do, make a conscious effort to slow down just a little bit. This is a very fine line, this one, so be careful. Um, so when you practice your presentations, video yourself so you can listen. And so that's it. So that's it for part one anyway. So just to quickly summarize, I talked about voice. Don't, don't speak in a monotone voice, all right? I also talked about musical notes within your voice. Let your voice naturally go up and down in a sing-song motion. Um, facial expressions, eyes, mouth, really important. Use them to your advantage. Gestures, thumbs up, use your hands properly, all right? Um, be careful with that. And, you know, my hands got a bit carried away there because I pressed the next button on my computer. We've gone to the next slide, but don't worry. And speed. Don't speak too fast, but likewise, don't speak too slow. Be careful with that one. Action for this week. I want you to create a three to four minute presentation on any subject, it doesn't matter. I want you to practice your presentation in front of a mirror. This will make you um, more confident in, your, in the presentation of your presentation. Um, you will be able to see yourself moving, moving your hands, your facial expression and so on. When you've done that a couple, maybe two or three times in front of the mirror, then video yourself and uh, check out how you're doing as well that way. Then I want you to do this in front of an audience. The bigger, the better. Video that presentation also and get some feedback from your audience. You know, did you do all the rapport things that we talked about in this video? If not, repeat the exercise until you do it and repeat it until you're very confident using these as well. So thank you very much, uh, you know, leave your comments and feedback on this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I, I know it will help you if you stick to it. Um, if you've got any further questions, feel free to ask us. And lastly, thank you very much again um, for coming back to PresentationExpressions.com. Uh, we'll continue to try to obviously give you good videos. And don't forget, part two next week, rapport. Have a great day.